Mother is the name for God on the lips and hearts of all children. Hi, I'm Skit, a 21-year-old UK-based music producer from Hemel originally, now living in Surrey. Uh, got a residency with Double or Nothing, I play London twice a month-ish. Um, got tracks being played out on Ministry of Sound Radio and Capital FM, that's about it. <laughs> uh, Cable London, Double or Nothing, um, not sure which Double or Nothing it is, there's been a few. But uh, yeah, just going to play a set, chat to you guys for a bit, should be pretty chilled. Uh, Can of Mix is on a bit later, he's pretty good. Um, yeah, just having it really. <laughs> played in Brixton, played in Surrey a couple of times. Um, but yeah, cable's good, sound's always pretty good. Crowd are always pretty hyped. Like, I know a couple of people who come here like every week, really. So it's good to see some heads when you come down, like recognise everyone's faces and that. But yeah, it's good, I like it. Originally, is, um, so I used to be into metal back in the day. I was just playing in bands and stuff like that, just doing rock and metal. And then one of my mates who was just getting into like the Rinse FM uh, the shows on that, he was basically just like, oh, you should check this out. I think you'll probably vibe it. He played me a couple like off his phone, just like really shitty like quality tunes. And I was like, yeah, it sounds pretty cool still. Then we came to Cable actually for one of my first nights. And then from like coming out and seeing it, I was like, yeah, I definitely want to be involved in this and start doing that. So that's it. Around about 140, bass heavy, like half time feel. It's like, it's, I don't know, that's a very fucking vague question, man. Um, I guess the older style would be like a lot more spacey, atmospheric. It's gonna look more club orientated, it's like a lot more dance story, like. Energetic, sub, and percussive, probably. Do like what you're good at. I wouldn't really follow what the scene's doing because there's enough people that are doing like what they think people want to hear. I'd rather like, I think it's just better if you do what you actually want to do. Started, I was pretty much just doing straight up remixes of like pop tunes and that. So trying to move away from moving other people's acapellas and start to work with like other musicians and singers and stuff. Like trying to get a tune released with like a popular vocal on it as well is a nightmare because I did a, a remix of an inner tune before and a label were very long about everything. So yeah, I'm probably just trying to be more original than a remixer now. I think it's just because like the younger kids want something to latch onto really. Like, um, I guess before there was a dubstep scene, the thing that was big before that was like kids was grime. Before that people had garage. Everyone's a big fan of like bass and big systems. So you will just meet like you chat to someone on Facebook you never even met. And then they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm heading down to this dance in London. You won't even know and then you'll just like arrange to meet to go before and that. Like a lot of people come out, like they just have a lot of love for the music. It's like nothing about egos. Everyone's just out to like listen to the music, have a good time like really like just make friends and that and just enjoy themselves. Um, downside, I don't think there really is one at the moment. Like it's all going pretty well for everyone. Like music's still booming. Uh, probably like the only thing would just be people like trying to be elitist when they don't really have any reason to. It's been like, oh, I don't really like the heavier stuff. or I don't really like the deeper stuff. It's just like, at the end of the day, it's all music. It's just like a different part of it. So if you don't like it, you don't really have to listen to it. There's no point moaning about it.